at this point in time, we've all seen the trailer. There wasn't a lot shown in terms of gameplay. We know it features two protagonists. There will be dynamic weather. We didn't really get to see specific gameplay elements. If you were actually working on GTA, what are like some features you want to have? So from watching the trailer, one of the features that came to mind was one, because of their excellent hair physics. It was strange to me that the clothes didn't have any physics. So the clothes had the usual wrinkle that every game does now. But if you look at the sleeves of the characters, there was no movement. It still look pretty, it still look pretty static. Exactly, it still looks static. So I believe they still have a year to go. Maybe they might change that. But it was just like jarring where the hair is. Because if you look at the club where they wrote Spray Monday or something yes, like that. Hey. I was trying make to make it rain Monday. Make it rain Monday. The funny thing is when we started talking about this at the beginning of the podcast, at the at initially I thought is this CGI because I'm a GTA fan. I've played from GTA One, and they never use CGI. So it was a mixed feeling when I first watched the video. I was like, why are they using CGI? That's how good the graphics yeah, were. I was wondering why they're using CGI. So I was not, I was having mixed feelings, but looking at the trailer, I deliberately looked for characters that were far back that were not in focus so if you go to that club where they wrote the spraying monday i looked back into the end of the room and i could just slightly see a character a female walking by and her hair actually had physics yes so like, wow so this physics thing is actually there yeah. even in the everglades the yes. second or third scene that you see a silhouette of someone on the boat yeah you notice the person yes, hair was, was flowing. flowing yes yeah so what I want to change is the clothes. They're just a quick one. On the water, I know you mentioned water has been gotten to an extent. But I think there's still more. You know, there was a time where there was this short clip. I don't know if you saw it. That was going about, I think it was on Twitter as well. And Reddit where um, there was a water physics was being shown and people were claiming that's how it would be in GTA 6. So for me, I was like, this water physics is too complex and there's no proof that it has anything to do with GTA 6. They yes. claim they they hired seven, what they call them, seven um, engineers, engineers to work on just water, water. and they were hyping it up. But funny enough, from the water I saw in the trailer, like when you look at the speedboats, a lot yes. of the time when water splashes, is like the texture is usually added on top of the actual water. Like a foamy, like a foamy texture when the when the water is rising beside the boat. Yeah. So yes. it, it's it's like how they treat fire, where it's like a PNG. Yes. With transparent layer, they just add coming out. Yes. And water droplets. So it's some like a picture they just put there. But this one looks like the water was actually drops were emanating from the actual yeah, water itself. Yes. For me, I I want the protagonist to be vastly different. I get it. That's a lot of work. I've always had a problem with games that feature multiple protagonists. Games like Assassin's Creed Syndicate, Spider-Man 2, even GTA 5. I don't want the characters to just have some perks or skill changes. But in reality, they still feel mostly the same. Like there, there isn't much that differentiates Michael from from Michael to Franklin and from Franklin to Trevor. Yes, you have the fact that okay, Michael is good with guns, Franklin is good with cars, and Trevor is just Trevor. But I want it to feel. I want Lucia to feel different. Well, has a guy has a guy's name be revealed? And uh, not yet, but from the leaks, we think it's Jason. Okay, I want Lucia to feel vastly different from Jason. I want Lucia to maybe be fluent in hand-to-hand combat, you know, different car- combat styles, jujitsu, karate, and I want it to be that Jason is just a straight-up brawler. He's just he can't do he can't do things that Lucia can do when it comes to hand-to-hand combat. Yeah. But he should also be like a gun expert. Yeah. He should be like a gun expert. He's somebody that he has always believed that why fight someone where you can shoot the person. So I want Jason to be the only person that can handle guns that are bigger than AKs. Yeah. Or he's the only one that can do a wield. You can lose, you can use Lucia, she can still shoot a standard gun. But Jason is so good with guns that he can dwell with guns. He can carry like very big guns. 
I know this sounds like a lot of work. I just want them to feel very different. You know, I want Lucia to be the one that she's good in parkour. When you are scaling, when you are scaling buildings with her, she's the best when it comes to scaling buildings. And Jason is just very rigid and all that. I don't know. It feels like a lot of work, but I really want the both of them to feel very, very different. Yeah, I agree. I've not really thought about it that way. But yeah, I think it's something that should, yeah, that should be the case. So it even helps with why you have a different reason to switch characters. Yes. So when you have a lot of enemies, you might decide, okay, Jason is the only one that can use a bazooka or a rocket launcher RPG. So you use him. So maybe if Lucia, she can use it, but if she uses it, she's probably slower because when she shoots one, she steps back or she's not very stable with it. Yes, and, the recoil, and the recoil is so bad on her. Exactly. Yes. And she can be better with knife combat. So she can just quickly take down enemies, maybe sneaking around and Jason is not as sneaky as um, she is. Although I just remembered, if you notice in the trailer, every single time they shoot them in the car, and that was like, oh, okay, like two times. Yes. Jason was always the one driving. Yes. So maybe Jason is the skilled one when it comes to driving. Yes, I would. I, I want that to be the case, but I don't just want it to be because I like the fact that, okay, Franklin was the only one that could slow down time when driving. Yeah. So it made driving with him easier. But I want it to be something that it's taken to the next level. Maybe jason hot wires a car in seconds yeah and lucia has to literally struggle and there's a high chance that if you are trying to steal a car there's a high chance that the person is going to pull you back out of the car mm -hmm. because you're yeah. taking time to hot wire the car but jason can hot wire it in like seconds yeah like very not really because like i said it's a lot of work but very nice minute things that really make them feel wholesome as a character yeah. and not just reskins of each other yeah i agree i also there's another thing i also want i, I want missions to evolve over time you know this is something that uh, cd project red does really well you know you take for example something like the baron quest in uh, witcher 3 I don't think anybody expected what that quest eventually evolved to. I want GTA 6 quest to to yeah. have this feel. What was the quest? I'm not... It's a, it's a quest in... Um, uh, is it a spoiler? In, uh, in Witcher 3. Yeah. Yes. Or do we need to give people spoiler warning? Uh, you know, Witcher 3 came out 2015. <laughs> if you have not played Witcher 3 at this moment, I don't think you're ever going to play Witcher 3. <laughs> it came, this is what I'm talking about eight years ago. Baron Quest, basically, it's a, you, you get to a village and there's a guy who is in charge of the village. Mm -hmm. And over time, you start following a thread of... Basically, you start following a thread of what happened between him his wife and his unborn child. The wife was pregnant. I think he beat the wife and the wife lost the pregnancy, but there's actually something that should be done for the fetus and it was not done. So the fetus actually evolved to be like a monster. It, it was something, it just started as a simple mission, yeah. but it kept on evolving and evolving. And everybody always talks about that quest yeah everybody yeah. it's it's like the it's like the gold standard of quests in gaming and i, I want gta 6 to 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 be like, like like pick for example let's say the mission is go deliver a car in a parking garage like remember the mission between uh, franklin and that uh, i think he's uh, a girl that he knows in his neighborhood Okay. and she needed him to help her drop off a trailer because yeah. her boyfriend was in jail i want that mission that looks so easy and something that is not that serious by the time maybe franklin goes to deliver the trailer one of the boyfriend's gang members say you're not you're not the one that we asked to deliver this trailer and before you know it it involves into something that is so bigger than what it started as yeah exactly from what you're saying i was just thinking of even random events they are nice as they've been doing it but it's also be nice to have dynamic um, random events where you are driving your car and maybe you hit someone and the person 
drops down and says you should get down. So of course on your map you can see an indicator that okay this NPC seems different. Yes. Then you get down and he turns into something else. Maybe you shoot him and his gang members come out and yes. they start shooting you and, and you start... give instruction you have to escape to something beach. And yes. get, like it just turns to an actual mission from and a random from a random event right yes, from a random event and it just make the world feel more alive. I, I I really want a situation that missions aren't just laid out of we want to go and kill this certain gang leader. You already know what you're expecting. You're expecting huge gunfights, a lot yeah. of yes. Eventually, maybe the mission might lead you to different things, but you know what you're going to expect. I want something that sounds so easy, like go get me a golf club and before you know it you are in some 50 man shootouts yeah something that simple yeah i also i would also want like you also said you know your actions to shape the world like something so random by like just hitting somebody's car and it evolves to something like that i would also like if the wanted system is a little bit more stringent i know rockstar has said that uh the police aren't going to just appear out of nowhere and start chasing you and that they are actually going to actively search for you when you commit crimes but i want it to i would like it to be taken to a step further that if you commit a lot of crimes you can actually go to jail it's not you go to jail you and the mission and you you start off with just coming out of jail in the, i want you to go to jail and there's actually a jail that continues mm. the story or yeah. you continue in the jail and probably the jail tells you that okay you have to pay one million for your bill you don't have the money so you can either choose to be lucia and try to make money in the jail or you can switch back to jason so that jason can raise the one million dollars and come and bail you from the jail i'm sure on first thought some people might feel all right it's gonna be annoying but I think it adds, it, it even makes um, firefights more interesting. Because when you're engaging in firefights now, yeah, you don't want to be caught. You don't in, want to be in caught. In the past, yeah, if you die, you die, you just start again. But this time around, they're like, okay, like, but I like what you said, where it's not every single time you get arrested that it happens. Yes. Maybe every 10th time or something like that. Or there's a bar where you can see your notoriety is becoming too high and next time you're you, caught. Yes, because actually, the game has shown that Lucia is um she's an ex-convict exactly yeah uh-huh. so as you know there's the three the, the three strike rule or what yeah. uh, however they want to implement it and they said okay you're an ex-convict you can't be doing all this all this crime so you should get to a point like you said the nice thing would be if there is a bar you yeah. can actually monitor it yeah, exactly. so you can it, it, it will even influence your decision that man do i need to steal <laughs> this do i need to steal exactly. this car i know or should people, i just buy my own car and live in peace i live in peace i know people who say this is going to make uh it's going to make things too serious because gta is supposed to be like power fantasy yeah you know it's supposed to be a sandbox you come you have fun but you know just a little or maybe it can be a setting you could turn off yeah, uh, uh, yeah. For then, uh, although for me, I usually don't like settings in games. In a way, I always feel like just prepare I'm the experience for me. Yes. Something. Yeah, I, I think I like that system where, let's say, there's a notoriety bar or something is a strike system. So when the bar is going up, you know that okay, if they catch me this time, I'll go to jail. But you also have the opportunity to maybe pay a bribe before it gets to that point to reduce your bar back. Yeah. So now you even calculate, like what you said, ah, is it what is still in this car? In fact, it affects other parts of the game because now you want to buy your own actual car. If you like a car that you see, yeah. rather than having to steal that car every time, you buy, buy your own. It, you buy your own. And, the way they, and it, it can be done in a certain way that jail is also influential to the story maybe there's a certain gang leader who has something of yours so going to jail is not just something that is detrimental there's also 
it also helps to advance the story. Yeah. So there might even be a certain point in time that man, I need to go back to jail to speak to this yeah. guy. Yeah, can I even get some skills like <laughs> how to build a shiv or improve your hot wiring or something. Yes. So you deliberately get caught. For a game that is essentially the gold standard of reality, I believe jail should just be jail is an integral part of reality consequences. I just think a game like GTA that is supposed to simulate reality, jail not being there is something that they should think about well they can't think about it now it seems already almost here <laughs> and i think well, we're talking about buying things when we're talking now I, I think it would be one important thing that i think they should also change is the economy so you know when we watched the trailer i don't know if we mentioned it here when lucia was holding money and i was like i hope they actually steal small amounts of money so that's that has been a problem in gta where after like three okay let me maybe like after seven missions you're you already, already earning 100 100 grand yes. you can buy anything so it's like what am i even working for i might as well just focus on the missions so there's no need to try and let's say break into a property and get something yeah there's no need to steal a car and resell it somewhere and i think in the league they spoke about a pawn shop system okay. they didn't go into details but there was something about pawn shop so if there's going to be a pawn shop, so I was saying something funny enough on a Reddit thread about how cars, they should add more utility to cars. So rather than just being able to steal the car and drive it, each car should have something different in it. So there should be some cars that when you enter it, maybe there's a button to search. You hold down X or hold down R1 to search rather than drive. Yes. And you can find a gun in the glove compartment, okay. maybe a golden gun that you can't find anywhere else. You can find some cash or you can find information about a house you can rob. Cars are not just for driving now. You can see, you can be driving, see a car you like or walking on the streets and see a car you like, hmm, maybe there's some hundred bucks in, in that car. You yeah. break the window, steal the money. And you just actually let the car be. Yeah. And yeah. this time around, you really want to steal money because money doesn't come that easily so you have to work for your cash for your cash that makes a lot of sense 